guys, welcome back to episode six of Q-Tips with Techie Carrie. I have an assistant today. Um, this is my daughter, Riley. She wanted to do a guest appearance on Q-Tips, and I always think it's cool to get a student perspective of the tools that we are using. So today, she is going to cover some ways to enhance your presentations in Google Slides. So let's get started. Okay, so this tip is for the students. So one thing that happens a lot in my classes is we have to do a presentation on Google Slides and it's really difficult to read the text, especially if you have a background as like a photo. So I use flamingos because that's my mom's favorite animal. And the title is all about flamingos and it says by Riley Orts. Um, you might not be able to read it very well and that happens a lot in my classes. So something I would recommend is when you just select the text you can click on this like fill color and choose any color. I'll just choose this purple color and then you can put it behind your text so it's easier. Of course you can like make it smaller. I know some kids in my class have a hard time reading their own slides. Um, same for the teacher or the students watching the presentation. So it's good to have clear bold text in your presentation. So this tip can be used for teachers, students, and administrators, and it is themes. So most of the time when you are doing a Google Slides presentation, you'll have this little area called themes, and they just spice up your presentation. You don't really want something like this, it's kind of boring, um, and it's just like a white background or whatever. So that's why I really like themes because these are really cool. They give a little flair to your presentation and it really keeps your um, audience like drawn to your presentation and very entertained. Um, so there are tons and tons and tons on here. You can also find websites that have themes. So I'm gonna show you a couple of those now. So one of my favorite sites that has free themes is Slides Carnival. You can use it on Google Slides and a couple of other presentation websites, but I suggest Google Slides. And so you can choose the templates and you just download them. There are tons and tons on here as well. And these are a little more like spunky than um, the ones on Google Slides. But So I'm quickly going to show you guys how you can use Slides Carnival to do your presentation. as, And I'm going to show you guys how simple it is to download them and stuff. So once you find the presentation you like, I found this one. This is just a wave dynamic one. And so you hit use as Google Slides theme. And then it'll take you to this page that says make a copy and you're gonna hit make a copy. And then it has, you basically just fill in the blanks pretty much on the slides. I'm and gonna step in and sh give a recommendation too. If you really like the format, maybe on slide number four, if you Cobra click or two finger click on slide four, you can click on duplicate slide and you can make an exact copy of that same slide. So if you wanna use that same format over and over again, that's a quick way to do that. Yes, and if you scroll to the bottom, they have a ton of symbols you can copy and paste for your presentation and emojis since most computers don't have that available, so. Yeah, I use this all the time for my presentations because um, I'm kind of like bored of the Google ones. So they are great, but they do get a little boring. So I definitely recommend Slides Carnival. So this last tip can be for teachers, students, and administrators again. Um, so I would recommend it for students. I, I would recommend it for really any presentation. It just kind of spices it up and gives it that like one step ahead, I guess. So what I'm about to teach you about is transitions. So a lot of people probably know about this one, but when you click to your next slide, there can be a cool transition. So let me teach you guys how to do this really quickly. So, so basically, this is my second slide. You're gonna want a transition for every slide after one. The first step is you go to this place and when you click on it or hover over it, it says change transition. So you click on that and then it'll pop up over here or just right there, just kind of depends. So you can click through the variety. I actually really like the cube. And then if you're feeling kind of lazy and don't wanna go through every slide, you can just hit apply to all slides, but that would work better for me if I had like more slides. And you can kind of choose the speed. We'll do slow. So it takes about five seconds to do. 
Um, and then you hit play, and you can preview it before, and I really like this one. It's very cool and popular around my school. Now I'm going to hit present and show you guys how cool these are. So, this is my front page. Just a little bit of cut off flamingos. Next is my transitions are so cool page. And also, one more thing I'm just going to add really quickly. I didn't tell my mom I was going to add this, but... So, when you make a new slide, it says click to add text. So, basically, say I wanted to say... Uh, Techie Harry is the best. Um, and I'm done with that. But you don't really want to add text here. You don't have to kind of go through the hassle of deleting it because when you present, Google is the best and takes that away. So if you have that on any of your presentations, don't worry about going through and deleting it because once you hit present, that all disappears. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching episode 6 of Techie Carrie's Q-Tips. And make sure you subscribe to her channel and there's a new video every Monday so yeah so make sure you subscribe to get some awesome tips that will help you be amazing at Google